Welcome Virgo to your career and money reading for the month of September. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming in for you for this month. I'm starting off with the Oracle cards because this just gives us a nice core message and theme of what's coming in for this month for you. And then I'm going to clarify further with the Tarot cards because that gives us deeper insights and deeper messages. Right, so let's have a look here. Okay, so we've got the love card coming in. Now, when, when the love card comes in with a career and money, it just tells us there is something that is going to happen this month that's going to bring you a lot of joy. Okay, now, when I say joy, it's joy in terms of a, from, from a heart-based um heart based feeling here it's uh, it's going to something that fills you up from from the heart it could be that you are um doing work that you love okay that you're really enjoying what you're doing you're getting a lot of fulfillment and with this an empowerment card here this could be very much that you're working in something that really fills you up when I say fills you up, Virgo, it makes you f like it fills you up from from your heart, your soul, and your your you know your spiritual and mental energies. And this is very very empowering. It's there's like a, a synergistic energy here coming in for for career and money, and it, I love it because it just tells me this is going. This is really vibrating at a higher level now something's happening that you're vibrating at a higher level it could be like for example you um I, i'll just give you an example just say you're given more responsibility at work and you absolutely love it you enjoy it you give a lot of uh, mentoring and um advice to the rest of the team you feel empowered you feel um motivated you feel you're definitely on track with this fertility card fabulous card wonderful card virgo to get into in a career and money reading because it tells us that the September is a very fertile month, fertile in terms of manifesting with regards to career and money. So this could be, you know, anything. This could be, you know, like I said, this is like really enjoying and, and growing and developing. But this is now also creating, building. Then we've got the Justice card coming in. And the Justice card is lovely. First of all, it could be an actual contract. It could be a contract, a business contract, a new job, a promotion, some kind of negotiation. It could be a loan coming through, a mortgage coming through, anything to do with your money. So we've got some kind of contract coming in. Also with Justed, if, if, if there is any kind of legal situation, guys, if you're in any legal situation, when Justice card comes through with regards to, you know, maybe you, something with money or something with your career, it very positive thing when the Justice card comes through, could be something turning in your favor. Another thing with the Justice card, which I also absolutely love with the two scales, there could be some kind of balance, like whatever this is, like really, really enjoying and getting fulfillment in what you are doing and feeling empowered. And, you know, like you're starting to grow on every level. This brings a lot of balance into your life. But let's go ahead and look at your tarot to see what we can get further insights and messages with regards to everything that's come up right we have got the ten of swords the five of swords the six of wands and we've got the wheel card right so with the love card it on, I, I, this is actually a great ten of swords i know you know ten of swords is not a positive card but it really it tells me that you know the ten is an ending. So Virgo, something's ended for you, and something like that was not pleasant. Now this could have been as simple as a fact as working in something that you didn't enjoy. Okay, because we've got the love card here. Simple as that. It could have it could be ending of a hard you know financial period. It could have been ending of a ending of a period where you were so worried and concerned of money. Ending of a period of not being fulfilled because it's falling under our love card. And this and like I said, once the ten is finished, she looks she looks ahead 
into the horizon, new day, new new day approaching, and this with the love card coming in, it's a, it's a new era. Interestingly enough, with this five of swords card coming under the empowerment, just um, I would just be aware of um, a little bit of negative um, chatter, guys. When I say negative chatter, if you are doing well, okay, uh, in any kind of area, you know, you just um, you got the promotion, you got the job, you got the contract, there might be a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of naysayers along the way, a little bit of negative energy, just, and it's, I really, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Um, it just could be, you know, sometimes people don't even mean it, but, you know, when you see somebody doing well, you can say, oh, do you think you could really, oh, is this the kind of job you'll really like? Um, you know, you've got to travel, you know, half an hour, an hour to work every day. Do you think you'll be able to do that? You know, a little bit of this uh, negative kind of energy, but I don't want you to worry too much about it because I see you managing it very well. And you, with you being empowered, I think you're going to, you're going to understand from, from whence it comes. So, fertility, victory, it's lovely energy here, lovely, lovely energy of possibility. Now, we will pull another card here, but we, we straight away we've been told that, um, Virgo, if you are thinking of starting anything, anything, okay, new job, new business, um, anything to make money, maybe it's a second income, anything taking your maybe you make beautiful jewelry and you want to sell it online and in addition to what you're doing at the moment anything that you want to start i want you to know that energy is fertile and what you will do has the potential of being very successful right with this justice card i love that it tells the tells me there is change coming the wheel is turning things are happening things are moving in your favor so far, everything's looking really good. Let's go ahead now and just clarify the Ten of Swords for you. What is this Ten of Swords for you? Look at that. Look at that, Virgo. From the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a fantastic card to get in a career and money reading. They, so the Ten of Swords is, like I said, it's the ending of something. And the Ten of Pentacles is literally like wish fulfillment, happiness, with under the love card in a, um, in, 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 with, with Pentacles. So it's like, it's like the house, the family, the abundance, the stability. Take it as it resonates within your life circumstances. Lo with the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card, uh, Virgo, there's, there's something big playing out here for you. There's something very big playing out here. You're releasing something completely and totally that was um, not easy for you in the in the recent past, and you you're going to find such um, you're going to find something that really speaks to your heart in terms of your career and money, but really speaks to it, and it tells you it has the potential. It has the potential to manifest in this um, Ten of Pentacles energy. Oh, that looks so nice for you so so nice let's clarify what this five of swords is that's sitting under the empowerment card there it is that's just your that's just your your few negative people who are going to just point out you know the the negativities of what's going on in your life and i want you to know one thing virgo you don't have to pay this any attention you have got so much incredible positive energy here and honestly i don't even don't even take umbrage to these people it's just it's sometimes it's just human nature when we see somebody starting to feel empowered somebody starting to f be filled up in, in in what they love and what they do starting to be successful you know we're going to point out the, the hole the hole in the, we're going to point out the pothole in the road okay so it might be this most magnificent magnificent beautiful mag road right everybody's driving beautiful and there's a tiny pothole these are the people who are going to point out the pothole they're not going to point out anything else but take it from whence it comes right let's clarify this six of wands for you let's see what the six of wands is about and we've got the moon card okay 
it's nice it just tells us very nicely at the moment this hasn't come into play okay this Virgo will whatever this is this fertile energy this this potential I think for a lot of you you don't even know what it is yet okay and that's fine that's fine or for some of you you've got a vague idea you just don't know how to go about doing it don't worry in September this will be become much clearer for you just letting let just letting me know that for a lot of you it's not clear yet and it's not nothing to worry about it will become clear in September let's clarify the wheel of fortune all right what do we have here lovely oh that's so nice wheel of fortune turning in your favor you are going to be moving from a little bit of a rough period or a harder period into a much much better period there is definitely some lovely energies some release some good things coming through for you in September really really nice the wheel of fortune is turning and it's turning in your favor I'm now going to pull the little tarot so the little tarot is either going to I'm going to ask for an additional message. It might relate to what we have already touched on or it might be a completely new message. So we're just asking for an additional message for Virgo here. All right, we've got the Emperor, the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Look at that, three major Arcana cards very very interesting the emperor is sitting on your empowerment card and your five of swords and five of cups two fives the emperor is telling you you have the strength the wisdom and whatever it takes just to move past all this negativity with ease with grace nothing is going to affect you you've empowered you're coming through as the emperor with this empowerment card you this is your month you are strong you're determined you're focused trust your instincts trust your intuition virgo spot on and the hierophant tells me in no uncertain terms there's something big happening here for you the hierophant is sitting on your fertility and your six of wands and moon card and and the wheel of fortune there's something happening here something's moving something's growing something's developing You've got nothing to worry about. This looks very, very good. Right, let's pull one more energy card for you. Let's get a final message from Spirit for you for the month of September. Let's see what we have here for our Virgos. One more message here. And we've got the Dear Spirit. Bring a gentle touch. Okay, so first and foremost, the 18th is going to be an auspicious day for you, okay? When it says bring a gentle touch, all it's telling you now, and this is not going to be here, this negativity, this these few naysayers here, this is not going to be for all my Virgos. So you just take it as it resonates. But those people who do come in, Virgo, with any kind of, you know, bit of the old doom and gloom and oh did you you know it's going to take you're going to you're not earning as much as you should have and it's not a, this company is not a fortune 500 company you know these kind of really comments that actually don't even mean anything it's just to put a little bit of a dampener on anything with this energy your your emperor your high priestess your empowerment energy the dear spirit comes in and just says you know what just bring a gentle touch it's whatever this is this is their this is their stuff guys it's not not for you to worry about not for you to take on it's just like you know understand okay maybe they're just going through a little bit of a, a difficult time when it says a bring a gentle touch just say you know Thanks for your opinion, and honestly, don't give it a second thought. You know, that, that, that what, what the gentle touch is, you don't have to get into defending yourself, any kind of conflict, absolutely not. You've got such lovely energies coming in for you. So there you have it, my dear Virgos. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Just lets me know that you like this kind of content. If you would like, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I wish you all a wonderful and successful September, and I'm sending you all lots of love.